You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular regarding the official holiday marking the Prophet's birthday anniversary on Saturday, November the 9th. The Kingdom's ministries, departments and official institutions will instead close on Sunday, November the 10th. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict Number no. 23 of 2019 on relocating the head of Bahrain's diplomatic mission and extraordinary ambassador to Egypt, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdurrahman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, to the Foreign Ministry headquarters. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting and Secretary General Yasser Al Nasser delivered the following statement. The cabinet expressed good wishes to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and the people of the kingdom on the advent of the Prophet's birthday anniversary, wishing the kingdom and its people many happy returns and further progress and prosperity and for the Arab and Islamic nations. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then praised the outcome of the second edition of Bindec 2019 that was held under the patronage of His Majesty the King and expressed pride in inaugurating it on behalf of His Majesty. He expressed thanks and appreciation to all participants and exhibitors and praised the active participation of the national military industry in the exhibition and the efforts exerted to develop it. His Royal has then requested the Supreme Council for Health to conduct an evaluation study in Salmania Medical Complex regarding the infection associated with hospitals and be done with the help of specialists and international experts. His Royal Highness praised the vital role of Bahraini women in making tremendous achievements under the reform project of His Majesty the King. He directed to continue supporting the efforts of the Supreme Council for Women led by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Council, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness also directed the Minister of Finance and National Economy to coordinate with the SCW to meet the women's needs and maintain equal opportunities. The Cabinet approved the results of the National Report for Gender Equality 2017-2018 proposed by the Coordinating Committee led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and prepared by the SEW and presented to the Minister of Finance and National Economy. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince directed to speed up the completion of development projects that serve the national economy. The Cabinet discussed a draft law amending a number of provisions of Decree by Law 48 of 2012 on Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry and reviewed the visions and recommendations of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The Cabinet approved establishing four committees and decided to approve four draft laws in this regard according to the proposal of the Supreme Council for Health. The first First, for establishing the High Committee for Treatment Abroad. The second, on establishing the National Committee for Unified Purchasing of Medications and Medical Supplies. The third, on establishing the Committee for Clinical Quality and Standards in the Health Sector. And the fourth, on establishing the Committee for Health Training and Strategic Planning. The Cabinet also discussed enacting a national space law that regulates all that is related to space and fulfills the national and future aspirations, and that it commensurates with the international changes. The Council directed the National Space Science Agency to cooperate and 
coordinate with the concerned and specialized bodies to prepare a draft for the law. The cabinet also approved establishing an office for the World Health Organization in the kingdom to bolster cooperation between Bahrain and the organization and activate the main agreement signed between them on providing technical and consultative assistance. The cabinet followed up on 94 projects supervised by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to implement the principles of the government plan and the priorities and initiatives that guarantee a financial, developmental and economic sustainability. The government's response on a proposal submitted by the Representatives Council regarding teaching sign language to school students was approved. The government took note of further results for the Future Investment Initiative Forum held recently in Saudi Arabia and on the results of the GCC Health Ministers Committee meeting and the 82nd GCC Health Minister Council Conference held recently in Masqat. The President of the Sustainable Energy Authority, Abdul Hussein Ali Mirza, and other officials from the authority, as well as the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning, has toured the cooling plant in Bahrain Bay. During the visit, Mirza examined the technology in use at the plant and what it has achieved in difference of efficient usage of energy during the summer season. In this regard, Mirza said that the authority is carrying on its efforts in efficient use of energy as per the government plan and the national objectives it serves, which are based on the keen interests of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal the Prime Minister. Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Governor of Riyadh, His Royal Highness Prince Faisal bin Bender bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, received today the Board of Trustees Deputy Chairman and Executive Director of the Isa Cultural Center, Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the Center's Historical Documents Center Director, Sheikh Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as heads of GCC Documentation and Studies Centers. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa expressed pleasure with meeting the Governor of Riyadh and the meeting which gathered a group of Gulf historians and specialists in historical and documentary affairs. He commended Saudi Arabia's keenness led by the custodian of the two holy mosques and His Royal Highness the Saudi Crown Prince in achieving the region's aspirations. This meeting is part of the participation of the Center's delegation in the 33rd meeting of the General Secretariat of Documents and Studies Center of the GCC. Deputy Chairman of the Board of Trustees and Executive Director of the Isa Cultural Center, Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, headed a delegation participating in the 33rd meeting of the General Secretariat for Research Centers in the GCC countries in Riyadh. The meeting was attended by the Executive of the Historical Records Directorate at the Isa Cultural Center, Sheikh Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as other members of staff. A number of topics were discussed during the meeting that aimed to support the efforts of various research centers in the GCC countries. These efforts included forming a comprehensive strategic vision, which was named his Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid Al Khalifa in honor of the late figure's leading role in developing Gulf relations in the historical discipline. The meeting also discussed a recommendation on organizing an intellectual conference about His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid, which the attendees have agreed will take place in the second quarter of 2020. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa praised the decision and underlined the high esteem in which the historians hold His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid. Sheikh Khalid also discussed with the General Director of the King Abdulaziz Directorate in Riyadh the various ways in which memoranda of understanding could be be brought into effect through a book launch as well as holding various joint scientific projects and exchange of expertise and historical material.